my fear is what what, what what's next? Um, what I'm looking at a lot of talk. Uh, Matthew McCon or McCone, I guess, from Murray State. He's a top candidate right now. Uh, Scott Drew from Baylor. He's a top candidate. Do we pull him away from Baylor, who's just coming off a championship and a number one seed this year? I, I, I don't, I don't think so. Uh, Jerome Tong, who's Baylor's assistant head coach, that I could see more reason. What I'm looking at here, uh, Kelvin Sampson, head coach of Houston, and then Brad Underwood from Illinois. Again, all all have had great uh, success at their respective programs. H- how do we get those guys to leave? I don't know. Rick Pitino's on a small list. He's been talked about a lot lately. Um, there's a lot of names. I don't think much is going to happen with all that's happening, obviously, with, with with what's going on with, obviously, March Madness. Coaches are still coaching. Rick Pitino's still coaching. And it, it, it's, look, Florida is still in the NIT, so there's no need for us to have any more distractions. These kids are going into this tournament tonight at 9 o'clock in here in five minutes without a head coach, which is kind of a bummer. I mean, I think it's still a pretty good pretty, pretty good ball club to not be able to have a head coach tonight, which sucks. Um, but... I think right now it's going to be rusted. It's going to be on the hush hush. But if how Florida did with Billy, they moved pretty quickly. I think they're going to move very very quickly. But it's going to be interesting to see who who they go and get. It's just I don't know. Well, look, I mean, the one thing I'll say is to to have that quick of a separation from the selection of the tournament to a coach and a university that went opposite ways very quickly. You typically don't have that scenario if both of them have not been in communication with one another about their future intentions. And it looked like Mike White had intentions of leaving just as much as Florida had intentions of leaving him. You don't just walk away without some some irons in the fire or at least some conversations that you feel good about. So I wouldn't put too much into the into the current situation of There's no coach. We're going to the NIT. I think the big picture for the University of Florida is that they already have scouted and started to get some positive feedback from guys that they like. And and you just, again, don't see that that rapid separation without that backup plan, or at least least a long-term plan that you like. Sure, and I, I, that, that's a, that's a solid point. I mean, we, we did the same thing with Billy, and kind of Billy to me was a little bit of a we weren't expecting that. So that that's a solid point. And to Sean uh, Charty, he said baseball basketball sucks. I thought this was a football channel. We're, look, we're an everything channel, man. We're a sports channel. We talk about a lot of Gator stuff, uh, all kinds of football. So right now it, it, it's March Madness, Bubba. We also too, hey, everybody who's everybody who's watching, we we are huge fans of March Madness. We have a link in the description for anybody that wants to join. Hey, Daniel, you've been talking a lot of shit. I better see your ass put a bracket in there. The winner will see $50 from Steve and I, okay, from the High Top Sports Organization. We're going to be giving it out to the winner. And whoever wins will be invited onto the show. So, Daniel, if this is your chance to shine, baby, go out there, get your W, and we'll bring you on here. You talk all the shit that you want. And, and Sean, basketball may suck. But you can you can come on here and you can talk all the shit that you want live about football or whatever it is that you want to be, baby. So link is in the description. Join that son of a gun. It's free. All right. Have you gotta have that bad boy submitted tonight, though. Bad boy starts tomorrow. So get this, get it going. Let your friends know. Anybody can, anybody can join. The more the more the merrier. We love it. We want to talk shit. We want to keep up with it. We're gonna keep tabs on it. So everybody just, join just, in. Just just go in at us. We don't we're we're here for that. That we're here for you people. <laughs> Sean Jardy said, "Damn, Mon is the new basketball coach." <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, yeah, uh, Muddy, could could Florida go all in after Jay Wright, Bennett from Virginia, or Baylor's coach? That's again. That's it. Just it, I don't know. It just it's a weird time. It's exciting to kind of start talking about it, but there's just a lot that there's just too much right now that I don't think anybody's gonna be talking about anything. So I think we're gonna have to wait at least probably a week or two after the tourney. Maybe if these guys, these these teams drop out, then maybe this conversation will move, speed up a little bit faster. But for now, we're gonna have to just wait and see. Wait and see. Yeah, Muddy's got a point here. Uh, you you guys could go after Gonzaga's coach if uh, good, if Sean. they go another year without win- <laughs> without winning at all. <laughs> what do you say? If, if uh, Muddy said you uh, that you guys can go after Gonzaga's coach if he goes another year without winning at all after being yeah. in the tournament for like Brutal. twenty straight years. Brutal, God. dude. They got to get it done on. sometimes. They, they're going to run that guy out of Washington. Da- Daniel said, talking shit to another natty. Daniel, I better see your freaking name in that March Madness bracket. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you better drop it in there. 